When I was a kid, I played a lot of computer games. Mom would yell from the other room all the time. She'd ask me to help with something. Dinner. Task me with the trash or the litter box for the cats. Anything. And all I wanted to do was play computer games. She didn't know that I was trying to escape, dying to leap and fly over gaping pitfalls and bad guys. Oh, <laughs> all she saw was a waste of time. And yeah, I wasted some of mine, but the days unwind, and slowly, the roles we told ourselves we filled chilled and changed, froze, and became different. Mom's mood dropped like the temperature in November. It never came back up. The end of a summer of silliness collapsing in on itself into a winter of discontent. Depression compressing in on her from all angles. That three-syllable word filling her world and her body curled into newfangled shapes and sizes. My temper rises at her. This disease, this sadness that made itself at home inside her with such ease. I want to scream, please, I get it, you're sick, but why don't you fix it? Jeez. Knowing it's not that easy. I wish that I could show her. I know she knew how once, but it seems like she's forgotten. I now find myself moving through life. My movements equal my memories of her, stationary, worse than still. I try to will her to get up and fill her heart with something, or at least fill her day, so that when I call to say hi, we've got more to share than the current color of the sky, or that things are fine. Things aren't fine. Things haven't been fine since the day she called to confess her diagnosis. When Parkinson's popped out of my dad's mouth and into my ear, I can't unhear that moment in my head. I wish I'd said, don't worry, Mom. I'll move since you can't. Let me do it for you. I'll take your shape, and I'll pour you into another like a pitcher of water into a bowl. I'll plant your soul and root your body like a tree. Feel free to take a break and let your hands shake, because like I told you last week, Mom, they were getting dusty anyways. <laughs> I know your hope can hide like buried treasure. You've got the map, but forgot to put the X on it. I'm trying to explain that from the days when I was a pain in your schedule, just playing games, I've watched you best, every test, ever thrown your way. And now, I'm grown enough to say, forget your past pains. The world is too big. We'll find that X. We'll all help you dig. Just point a finger.